For centuries, a dog is considered a man's best friend. And the bond between man and his military working dog, it can be like no other. Yeah, photojournalist John Edwards introduces us to a local artist who's captured that human canine bond in a very special tribute to our military and their most faithful companions. For more than 30 years, Jim Mellick has been transforming large chunks of wood into wonderful dog sculptures. Letting the dog be the main vehicle of telling the story about our condition, our, you know, our, letting the dog talk to us about ourselves. About three years ago, Mellick came up with an idea of how man's best friend can help us heal. By using this medium of wounded military working dogs to raise awareness of the same types of injuries our human wounded warriors are afflicted with. And sometimes people could look at the dogs whereas they see the wounded warrior, the wounded soldier in a new way by looking at wounded, wounded dogs. Melik is raising attention on the sacrifice and needs of wounded veterans. All my dogs have have kind of been redeemed and they, they they're in their dress uniform they have been made new again and I think there's a there's an emotional connection they, they didn't get their legs back but they have this nobility about them is what I'm trying to express I think that's where the emotion comes through the eye is over the you know the window to the soul the attention to detail on each piece includes a campaign ribbon on the collar so each of the dogs represents the different conflicts the earliest one I had was um, was World War II. His current project is telling the story of actual four-legged heroes like Luca. She had discovered an IED, and this was in Afghanistan. She found one found one uh, bomb, and then a, a secondary bomb went off, and that's when she lost her leg. And the true story of Sergeant Patrick Tutko and his canine comrade Jajo. They were targeted in Afghanistan with a remotely detonated improvised explosive device. But the real art takes place by the people and the stories and the interactions that I have after the fact. It's not theater, I mean this is reality and they're telling their, their real stories. Jim Mellick and his wounded warrior dogs will be telling their stories in downtown Marion.